Ah, Alma. A book from the Book of Mormon so boring that even the people who think it's divine revelation admit that God was half-assing it on this one. Which is why we're proud to present the skeleton key to Joe's Finnegan's Wake that is Mormon Peace Theater. Last time on Mormon Peace Theater. I'm Alma. God, I hate your girlfriend. I'm right here. Oh. Hello, it is me, leader of the Lamanites, and I am here. Wait, wait, hold you. on. Why do you sound Native American? Oh, uh, Mark and Dan told me that Lamanite to the Mormons isn't black. It's like Native American now. O so. Okay, but odd that we're comfortable doing this stereotype. Well, this part is meta, so I think it's okay. Plus, I'm already in the makeup. They didn't need to know that part, Eli. Method. Hey, Joe. What's up? Um, this Lamanite king, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just look into the hat here. Uh, it is... Zerahem... Nah. Zerahemna? Is that what you said? Yep, yep. That's what it is. Like, Z like the place called Zerahemla? Oh, yeah. What a coincidence. Didn't even think of that. So... That's just a coincidence. Just a coincidence. Yeah, that. totally a, a okay. coincidence. Anyway, I'm here to kill the Zoramites, who, for clarity, are Christian now. Oh no, God, who will save us? I'll save you. Moroni. Moroni. Mumble, 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 mumble. Yes, tis I, Moroni, strong warrior and leader of the Nephite army, y'all. Really? Because... You sound like a lot like Ben Carson. Ben who now sounds handsome. Never mind. Not trapped in an elevator. And the work of death commenced on both sides, but it was more dreadful on the part of the Lamanites, for their nakedness was exposed to the heavy blows of the Nephites with their swords and their scimitars, which brought death almost at every stroke. Slap. Slap you in the dick. Sword to the dick. Dick, dick, or going for your head? Nope, dick. Thought to the dick. Well, Zarahamna, it appears I've defeated you with all my sword dick slappery. Do you surrender? I mean, I guess so, but if God is on your side, why did you need swords at all? For the anachronicity. Not even sure that's a word. It is. Okay, I don't think you're a good source for that. I'm going to try to kill you now. Hiya! Hiya! Ooh, my scalp. You cut off my scalp. I surely diddly did. Okay, well, give it back now. You sure? Be careful. Sorry, it's all... It's my scalp. There you go, good as new. Can you tell? Very much, very much so, just barely on your head. Okay, fighting back on? Yes, sir, three, two, one. Okay, go. Dig slap. And so it came to pass that Alma grew old and did gather his sons around him. My sons, go, gather around and hear my final words. Uh, Helaman. Yes, father. Okay, uh, everything is great now, but everyone's going to be all like, uh -uh. go. Oh, uh, what now? You know, go, like, like, smash, smash. Father, your illness, I can't understand at all. Black, evil and black. They're going to be evil and black. Uh. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh. And so it was that Alma was never seen or heard from again in the in the book of Alma. Hey, Eli, what, what's up, buddy? Oh, there's just, I'm just going to miss Alma. Oh, me too, buddy. Would it help if we did a, a sad goodbye to Alma montage with as much Sarah McLaughlin as we can legally get away with? Mm-hmm. All right. In the arms of the armors. Whatever, Dad. Never believe in pre Jesus. Gaw. I totally believe in pre Jesus now. Gaw. Lamanites. Gaw. Gaw. Better? Yeah. And so it was that all the people were happy. <clears throat> Never mind, they all misbehaved again.
It is I, a Malachiah, corrupter of men's souls. And I'm sorry, Joe. Did you say a Malachiah? Just keep writing this shit, then it's stuffy in the hat. And I am here to convince you all to give up pre Jesus. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, Moroni. Yep, just gonna rip my coat here and ride through town. Okay, here we go. Oh, got it started. Do you have scissors? What the hell are scissors? Never mind. Sorry. Got it. I guess, um, the scimitars are fine, but scissors aren't. Give me one second. I got it. Here we go. Good lord. All right. It's more of a strip than a flag. Damn. Okay, gonna ride through town now. Yeah, go nuts. Maroni, you fool. You are no match for Amalekiah and the Amalekiahites. I'm sorry, the Amalekiahites. Just, just Amal- keep writing. <sighs> oh, yeah? I'll show you dick slap. I am defeated. But the clever Amalekiah would not be dissuaded. He went on to the Lamanites to encourage them to make war on the Nephites. Oh, king of the Lamanites. Hi. Oh, you sound... Uh, the Dan Snyder. Nice to meet you. And there it is. So, so like the uh, nope, owner nope, of the... No, 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 not at all. No reasonable person would assume I'm any other Dan Snyder than this one that is king of the Lamanites in this humorous parody. Sounds quite legit to me. Yeah, I uh, wonder what's going to happen to me, though. Okay, you want to make war on the Nephites? No. No, but there's some rebels in the hills who hate me. Maybe they'll join you. What? I love this book, by the way. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not that Dan Snyder. Hi, uh, Amalekiah here. Are you king of the rebel Lamanites? Why, yes, I am, Paul Dolan. Nice to meet you. Sure, drink some of this. Uh, Poison? The maid did it. Sounds true to me. Hey, Dan, I'm back. Oh, hey, just lighting this wooden tea on fire. Great way to keep warm. Nice wooden tea on Uh, fire. Lowercase. Do you want to do our secret handshake? Uh, sure thing. A knife. May did it. Sounds good to me. Oh, hello, the queen. Hey, I like the way you murder Dan Snyder. Want to hang out? Man, murdering Dan Snyder sure does make beautiful women want to sleep with you, huh? Murdering Dan Snyder, you'll become a king and beautiful women will fuck you. Okay, now that I'm done having all the sex I get for killing Dan Snyder, I'm finally going to take out Moroni. Hear ye, hear ye. Moroni is a big dumb dummy. Perfect. Boss, we can't attack Ammonite. They have all this crazy technology and defenses I've never heard of. Wow, really? Uh, what is it? Walls. Oh, fuck. All right, retreat, I guess. Boss, you'll never guess what they have in Noah. Walls again? What's up? Noah's got lots of walls up. Oh, well, he's a different generation than us, Heath. I don't don't think they're walls. I think they're a different way of interacting. You know, we're kind of like the I feel generation. But you can be snippy sometimes, though. And the other day, I wore my new hat. And a compliment would have meant a lot. And I know that, like, physically... <clears throat> sketch walls, no, sketch, <clears throat> sketch walls. Oh, right, no, oh, no. The city of Noah has walls. Okay, folks, the election results are in, and the city of Noah wins 1,000 deaths to zero. What? Bullshit! I totally killed a guy! No, I, I, I'm fine. Y- you got me pretty good, though. What? Really? You sure you're not gonna die? I mean, I'm, I'm probably gonna die... Like, eventually. No, oh, that, no, can that count? The, the, the score is still a thousand to zero. It is I, the most feared warrior in the land, Tiancum, and I'm here to. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? wait, what was your name what? again? My, my name is Tiancum, <laughs> warrior of the dark jungles of the. <laughs> and I'm. You know what? If you guys aren't going to take me seriously, then I'm just going to kill Morianton, <laughs> king of Morianton, and leave. <laughs> okay. Tea and cum. See, me, I prefer milk, but, but whatever, yeah, man. It's a nice. You guys are assholes. <laughs>
Hey everyone, I'm Pahoran, chief judge of the, uh, uh, wanna say, Moronites? And we're the Kingsmen, and we wanna kick you out. Well, let's have a vote and see how it works out. Okay, so the Freemen won 1,000 to zero. Oh, how is that possible? I know I voted for us. Hanging Chad, bro. I'm having the worst week. Gentlemen, gentlemen, there's no time. The Amalekites are attacking. No, I'm not going. But you'll die. No, I'm going to hide and no. stay in my house. No, no, I mean, we'll kill you. Oh. For Moroni! My God, they're everywhere. Whatever shall we do? Don't worry. It is I, Tiancom. <laughs> to save the... <laughs> oh my God, he's save. back. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just going to go kill Amalekia. <laughs> you do that. Yes, sir. Here's the worst. That's right. Get all the peanut butter. I did kill Dan Snyder after all. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, Joe, so the hero kills the bad guy in his sleep? It's like with a spear. Okay, um, doesn't that seem kind of cheap? No, what? No, he like he like defeats the villain um, with a with in his a sleep. Beer. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Do you not like God's words? No, no, it's it's fine. It's, All right, that fine. Good job. The king of the Lamanites is dead. I will avenge my father. I swear it by my name, a moron. Seriously? <laughs> you know what, you guys? It's it's a name, and it's fine. Moroni, how will we defeat the Lamanite army? Oh, don't you worry, you flutter by. I've just got the plan. Oh, hello there. I'm just an awful small army. Just three fellas sitting around playing cards and drinking limeade. Sure ain't a big army behind those trees over there. Sure hope nobody attacks us. Wow, okay, let's get them. Friends of Ammon. Wait, I, wait, sorry. I thought we were the anti Nephi Lehi's. Right. Uh, you are. Yeah, so why'd you call us the people of Ammon, then? Well, you're both. I didn't forget. Are you sure he didn't forget? Yes, I'm sure. He did not forget. Also, can I get an air freshener in this hat? It smells like wet old timey face in here. Anyway, who wants to fight the Lamanites? Uh, well, we promised never to take up arms again. Oh, right. Uh, did your kids promise? Ooh. Dearest Amora, nice name, dick face. I'm sending you this missive in hopes that you will give me a bunch of prisoners. Very best, Moroni. Dear Moron I, nice name yourself. Fine, but you suck. The dear fuckface, how dare you debate me on serious inquiries only? Doesn't exist yet. Okay, well then let's have a war. Okay, so here's the plan. We get some of our anti-Nephi-Lehi brothers who are a little bit on the darker side, if you know what I mean. We get the gods drunk. What do you say? Uh, I feel trapped in a never-ending cycle of the same story over and over again. Me too. For he's a golly good fellow, for he's a golly good fellow, for he's a Excellent. Golly good now that we've freed the prisoners, we attack. Uh, Roar! Right. Oh, no. But don't kill them. That would be a dick move. A dick slap move. That's kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, we got it. The dick slap. Dick slap. Dear Moroni, it's me, Helma. Just wondering where all those soldiers you promised me were. Could have kind of used them a minute ago. Winky face. Helma. Dearest Hellman, I would love to send you soldiers, but as the warm summer breeze melts over the meadow, so too, but I be aware that a warmer day can come to God's glory, in God's glory, forever and ever, Moroni. Dear Moroni, you're not sending me any fucking soldiers, are you? Dear Hellman, nope. Okay, man. You are a little younger than I planned, uh, but God is watching over us, so everyone 
Change your diaper, I guess. Uh, grab your binky. And let's kill some Lamanites. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll get that. I'll get that. Dear Pahorin, it's me, Morona. Can you send some soldiers over here to Hellerman? He's being a real bitch about it. Love, Morona. Morona, I will send soldiers as soon as I can. Don't worry, God is on our side, Pahorin. Dearest Pahorin, can't help but notice you didn't begin your letter with zero or end it with love. Are you mad at me? Love, Morona. Morona, no, I'm not mad at you. I just got kicked out of the city by rebellion, and I've been super busy. Warmest regards, Moroni. Pahorin, warmest regards, what is that shit? Letter to the editor at Reader's Digest? Sorry you got kicked out of the city, but maybe you could take 12 seconds to send an army and end a love letter with some motherfucking affection. Anyways, love, Moroni. Oh, he's not going to write me back, is he? Everybody, we must retake this city. Follow me! Yay! Okay, T and Cum, go stab him in the dick while he's asleep. God damn it, dude, you have a weird dick thing. And a sleeping thing. You guys do. You, you have that. Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. Right there, right there. My dad did kill Dan Snyder after all. Yeah. hi yeah. Wait, uh, Joe? Seriously, dude? Sorry, sorry. A second guy stabs a Lamanite king to death while he's asleep again? Yes, a second guy stabs a Lamanite king to death while he's asleep. Okay, can we go? Jesus. Exactly, exactly. Jesus Christ. And so it was that they did defeat the Lamanites, and Moroni... Hello. ...did hand the army off to his son, Moroni... Huh. Hi, I'm a different character, uh. And with the hopes that in a month we'll get to hear Ben Carson argue with himself about Lamanites, we'll bring this segment to a close. But we'll see you next time on Mormon Peace Theater. <laughs>